Hi my lovelies and welcome back. If this is the first time you're watching, hi my name is Amy and today I have a very short and sweet video for you guys. I wanted to redo my how I apply magnetic lashes video. The minute I tried magnetic lashes, I never went back. So just to give you a bit of context, I had tried extensions one time only and that was Mm, I want to say it's back in actually I remember now it's back in February 2018 because I did it right before my Hong Kong trip I love the experience because it gives you fluffy lashes and it's semi-permanent because it lasts for two or three weeks and they were amazing they felt really comfortable and all having said that there are a few cons with extensions that I felt like was not as worth it for me to continue long term so of course the cost being number one you have to go back to fill your lashes every two to three weeks if you want to maintain them and every time you do that it's another 50 to 60 dollars which is very expensive and of course you want to go to a place that knows what they're doing because the last thing you want is that glue chemical in your eyes right so you definitely want to go to a place that's reputable the number two con is probably the worst one which is for me you cannot sleep a certain way uh, you cannot rub your eyes a certain way you cannot wash your face a certain way you cannot wear mascaras unless it's a very specific made for extensions mascara if you sleep on your lashes or even if you're like this on your pillow and it touches your lashes it messes them up therefore when i came back from my trip i decided to look into magnetic lashes because i've been hearing about it and i always wondered if it was worth it for me because I'm no good at wearing the glued on false lashes. I'm just no good at all. I'm not a makeup pro. You guys have seen my get ready with me. I just do this all the time and I never change my routine. In the past, I never even wore false lashes. I always just wore mascara, which is still great, but I love the look of false lashes. So I decided to try them. I went to my local pharmacy. They had the Ardell ones because Ardell is sold everywhere in the world. I'm sure even if you are in Asia or whatever, they will have Ardell there, I hope. Anyway, <laughs> I'm making this claim, but I hope they do. Basically, magnetic lashes are just false lashes, but instead of using glue, they use magnets and they just sandwich your own lashes together to create this beautiful fluffy lash look which I'm wearing right now. So the ones that I ended up getting are the double 110 and I love the ones that are just magnets. Not the ones with the liner, I've never tried those ones. I love the ones with just magnets. Just like regular falsies, you have to cut them off if they're too long for your eyes. So do measure your eyes with the lashes on and cut off the excess. Just assume that this is the lash here on the top of the lamp. So there is a magnet here and there's a magnet here and then right in the middle there's a magnet here and here so there's four magnets on the lashes i just cut off where the third magnet ends so i keep the first second and third magnet and i cut off right there and then i discard the rest of it because it's too long for my eyes i also got asked before whether you can cut off midway i guess you can try it but from my experience is that any leftover and there's no magnets at the end to kind of hold it in place it can flap around or it can kind of give you the illusion that it's not glued on on your eyes again it also depends on your shape of your eyes so definitely experiment i will emphasize again there's a huge learning curve give yourself a few hours just to try it on and just to experiment with how it works for you best i have watched several youtube videos before i figured out how to apply on myself but it could be different on you the way i apply on myself is i leave the whole strip intact both on top and on bottom but i have seen people cut off the bottom strip into several sections so that they can just work with one magnet at a time that could work for you i prefer to just leave both intact I just find it easier to maintain and also uh, I have no issues with controlling one magnet at a time when I apply it. I also wanted to mention that you may want to look for a little metal tin so that you can store your lashes and the way I store it is I push them into the same shape as the eye just so that you keep that same shape so that next time you apply them it already follows the curve of your eyes. Like I said magnetic lashes have been really worth it for me because this one pair here I've worn for several several months already i don't even remember when i started wearing these but as long as the magnets are still strong and have not fallen off you can keep wearing them over and over and over and that is why i feel that these are the perfect answer for me to get fluffy lashes 
they may not work for you but there's no harm in trying it out at least you found out whether it worked for you or not and also the worst case scenario is that you lose money which is about $20 a pair in Canada I also wanted to mention that I did try another style in addition to the double 110 I think I tried on it's been a while now I tried on the double wispies I think um, and they were great. They were a little fluffier. They were actually a lot more dramatic than these But I like these ones because they give me a more natural look Let me give you a walkthrough of how I apply them Like I said, it may not be the same way for you But this is how I do it Just wear a thin coat of mascara just so that there's more grit for the magnets to hold on Especially if you have very few lashes if you already have very full lashes I don't see why you would need to wear false lashes to be very honest because mascara will do the job for you already Already. So in most cases, I think that wearing a slight coat of mascara will be very helpful Of course, you want to let your mascara dry completely before you apply the magnetic lashes So in between, I would just do the rest of my face makeup and then I'll come back to my lashes at the end So the way I do it is I hold the top of my lashes and then I try to place it on top of my eyes, kind of placing them into the position where I want them to be. Lightly support the top lashes when you apply the bottom lashes. The way I hold the bottom lashes is that I hold it by the third magnet and I kind of try to position uh, or angle the first magnet so that it is straight across and kind of lands on the first magnet as close to your lash line as possible just do your best because it is very hard uh, and it may take you a few tries like I said it took me two to three hours to figure it out and so once you have your first magnet in place then you can kind of nudge and let the second magnet do its job the middle magnet kind of just goes into its place almost automatically for me because I've gotten used to it now for the third one which is usually the most challenging part the most longest part of the lash hold the tips of the lashes on top and on bottom and try to really aim it as close to the eye that looks pretty easy when I did it because I'm kind of used to it and now I can kind of apply my lashes pretty quickly sometimes I still mess up of course I still mess up it just I'm sure it happens to everyone even if you use glued on false lashes but the more you practice the better you get at it once it's on it's on it doesn't budge uh, even wind wouldn't take it off of your eyes as long as the magnets are strong enough they won't budge and they don't hurt they don't feel heavy especially if you use the really natural ones they don't feel heavy at all the 110s don't feel heavy on me but yeah just to demonstrate again make sure you position the top lashes on your own lashes kind of roughly kind of support it with your hand and then with your other hand hold on to the third magnet even maybe a little bit on the second magnet if you want to position the first magnet with the first magnet on top second one and then with the third one you just want to hold on to the tip of each lash on top and the bottom with your hands and carefully place it as close to the eye as possible in terms of removal do not pull it off like that although you can uh, but you might lose a couple lashes the way i do it is i just use my nails i'm sure a lot of ladies have nails even a little bit will work as long as you're able to kind of scoop the underneath one of the magnets I usually just go from the external of the eye so I just go underneath the magnet and I kind of just scoop it out and then I just pull and then the whole strip from the bottom will come off that's pretty much it there's really not that maintenance or anything I don't have to apply mascara to it in addition to wearing them I just leave them as is they're so easy to maintain uh, they're so easy to wear as long as you get the hang of it and um, as long as the magnets are still strong and as long as you didn't lose any of the magnets on the strips then you can keep reusing the same pair over and over they're so cost effective that way uh, I think maybe twice I got a dud where the magnets just came off they were not glued on to the lashes strong enough so that's unfortunate I guess it does happen but most of the time they were so good I love them to death I hope they never change them because I know they've been doing a lot of different things and that they're trying to change them 
them uh, which i hate when that happens hopefully the next pair that i buy are still the same but yeah that's pretty much how i do it i hope that this was helpful anyway for those of you who missed it on my live stream that's how i do it and also uh, for those of you who do not normally watch my channel but just stumbled upon this i hope it was helpful and if you really got value out of this video please smash that like button i really appreciate it and it would really help me out and if you wish to subscribe to my channel i would love to have you as well thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you again very soon bye